welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm feeling super unmotivated right now and super not productive. Super not productive. I'm not feeling very productive. Anyway, so I wanted to start this vlog so that I can kind of force myself to be productive. And if you are kind of in a slump right now or you just can't get off the couch or there's just so much that you have to get done to where it's the point where you do absolutely nothing because you're just overwhelmed. Let's just do it together. Honestly, that happens to me more times than not. It is currently 5.10 and I've got a few things I need to do. First matter of business, today Starbucks released their fall, fall, new fall drinks, whatever. <laughs> and I'm really not a coffee girl. I'm a big matcha girl. I love me some matcha, but I'm not going there for matcha today. I saw on the menu that there's like this apple crisp espresso drink. I don't like coffee, but I like espresso. Isn't espresso coffee though? I don't know. They taste completely different in my opinion. And espresso's fire coffee, I could live without. So I'm going to order that right now. I really like how Starbucks has the mobile order thing so you don't have to go and talk to someone because I like to avoid human interaction as much as I possibly can. Good thing I checked the details of this apple crisp drink because there's three shots of espresso in it. It is five o'clock right now. I could not drink three shots of espresso in one go. One shot of espresso and that's good for me. I, I feel like I say this in every video, but I am so sensitive to caffeine. One shot, please. One shot. Okay, let's go. Crap. Whoopsies. I totally forgot that I don't have a stand for my camera in my car yet. I have acquired the goods. It looks like there's a bunch of syrup on the bottom. I also don't make fun of me for how like milky this is. <laughs> it's because I only got one shot of espresso and not three. I don't think I could do three. Anyways, let's try it. Uh-huh. It's a very, oh, you know, this just kind of tastes like fall. This is, this is actually really good. I prefer if it was a little bit sweeter, but I love sweet drinks. I know there's, there's so many people out there who don't like sweet drinks, but I love me like cotton candy flavored things, blue raspberry flavored things, but this is pretty good. Mmm. You know, I'll definitely get this drink during fall. It tastes like it really just tastes like an app, a cinnamon apple candle with espresso. That's what it tastes like, and it's delicious, honestly. It honestly probably would be a little bit tastier with more espresso in it rather than just one, but whatever. I don't want to be up the whole night. I also decided that I want to start just shit posting on YouTube, shit posting everywhere because I overthink things way too much for no reason. I really don't know why I do that, like for anything. I feel like I am kind of a perfectionist at some things and I overcomplicate things whenever I don't need to at all. Like for YouTube, for example, I feel like I need to do these fancy little edits and add little sound effects and add music in the background and everything like that. And editing, it takes a lot of time to kind of like go in and really do everything like that and do like the zoom ins and everything. Um, which is why I haven't been posting on YouTube on YouTube as much as I would like to, but I just wanna keep pumping out content because whenever I thought about it from more of a watcher's perspective, um, and I'm watching someone that I really enjoy, but maybe they are like doing the same thing, like overthinking their content and thinking it's not good enough for their YouTube channel and stuff like that. So they haven't been producing as much content as they normally would or like a regular YouTuber, you know? And I'm like, dang, I really wish they would make more YouTube videos. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. I just kind of want to see more content from them because I actually like them as a person. So thinking about it like that, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you guys like my YouTube videos or anything, but I think that it would be more fun if I posted more, regardless of how long the video is, what the video is, or anything like that. 
because it's also cool because I get to look back at it and see where I was at a certain time in my life and how I was and what I was doing and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a little journal too, which is why I love vlogging and I need to do it more. So yeah. I'm gonna start posting on YouTube more often. That's basically the gist of it. <laughs> the things that I have planned to do this afternoon or this evening, I want to cut my hair, which is why I actually had wet hair in the beginning of this video. It was because I was going to cut it, but I was like, ooh, let me get some Starbucks first. So my hair is pretty dry right now, so I'm gonna have to re-wet it. Ah. So obviously my hair is bleached and very damaged. So I'm gonna take some length off because I kind of like it nipple length. That's about my ideal length. If it's any longer than that, um, if I'm sleeping at night and I'm rolling around, I'm rolling on my hair. And Zuko, my puppy, you can see his little face right there. <laughs> he loves to step on my hair. Oh! But yeah, I'm gonna cut it and I'm also gonna cut my little curtain bang things as well yeah they they're getting a little a little too long so i'm gonna chop those and um i think i'm gonna so whenever i cut my hair i always do the wolf cut thing where i have the ponytail up there and i'm gonna do that this time but i think i'm gonna try to add a little bit more layers than i have been so we'll see how that goes hopefully i don't mess it up because i have the young la meet and greet next weekend not this weekend but next weekend um and i'm honestly pretty i'm i'm super excited i'm super excited but i've never really done anything like that i mean yeah i don't even know what to expect i haven't heard many details i've heard like things from other people um yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also pretty nervous. Yeah, but I'll be with all my buddies, so it'll be okay. Oh, also, another thing. Okay, sorry. This vlog is basically just going to be me rambling on. So I hope that you are okay with that. <laughs> it's gonna be like we're on a FaceTime call. You know, I'm just gonna give you a little life update because yeah, those are fun. So I'm just gonna be spitting out random things. I got... I've been seeing it all over TikTok. This fanny pack is goaded, by the way, from Young LA. Shirt from Young LA, code Lila. Mm. I gotta show you this. I've been seeing this all over my TikTok for you page, and I caved and I got it. They are the Milani lip oils. I never use any lip products ever because I've got some tiny lips, so I don't really, I don't know, I don't really pay attention to it. But boom, I have the flavors, or, yeah, the flavors, raspberry, peach, and cherry lime. And I love these. I mainly like the cherry lime. So if you get this, get the cherry lime. It tastes delicious and it looks good on the lips. I did a little TikTok review on them. So if you wanna go peep my TikTok, it's lila.fit. I also decided that I'm gonna start shit posting on TikTok. I don't know. I just kinda wanna, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just delirious. Another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to film a Young Life for Her try on haul of the new collection. The new sets, guys, are actually insane. Mm. I actually have the sports bra in here in case I wanted to do like any TikToks in my car like I do. So I have one of the sports bras. I don't have the shorts with me right now or the leggings or anything like that. But I'm telling you right now, the absolute best pieces of activewear that I've ever put onto my body before, actually. It feels amazing, it looks amazing, it's so flattering, it fits perfectly. I can't hype it up more. Yes, I do work with Young Lay, but I, I'm so serious when I say I would say the same thing if I didn't have a code with him. If you were following me way back in the day, you'll know that I was obsessed with Young Lay before I even had a code with him, before I really had a following at all. I love me some Young Law, love Young Law. I'm Young Law's biggest fan. Let's head home right now and let's get to chopping up this hair. You know what else that I've been into and I'm super obsessed with doing right now? It's doing my own dip nails. I mean, obviously it doesn't look the best because this is like my second time doing it, but I'm getting better. Oh, I used to be a big press-ons girl. I just never liked going to the actual nail salon. So I was like, I'll just do it all myself. At first I got a poly gel nail kit, which if, <sighs> I feel like poly gel, it's kind of simple, but it's also 
really difficult. I personally would not recommend it, but maybe I was just, maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe like I just got really bad quality poly gel, I guess. I don't know. But I have a bunch of friends who always go to the nail salon and get dip nails. And I, I was like, what the heck is dip nails? What do you dip it in? I don't know. But then I kind of looked it up and I felt theirs and it felt really nice and it felt kind of like acrylic almost. Of course, being the DIY girl that I always have been, I got a kit off of Amazon and it was like 20 bucks or it was like 20 bucks or some, somewhere around there. I YouTubed how to do dip nails and like the prep of the nails of everything like that. And I tried it and I am never going back. Press-ons are okay for maybe on like a special occasion that you have to go to and you don't want to go to the nail, to the nail salon or have to wait for anything because you can find press-ons anywhere but especially if you want to grow your nails out to make them nice and long and have them still be your natural nail and not worry about a press-on popping off if you want to open a soda can or something like that get your own dip nail kit that is a, unless you want to go to the salon i just hate going to the nail salon i hate it but definitely support your local nail techs if you can and if you want to i've only done them twice but i just got so many different colors of dip uh, for whenever I go to the meet and greet. I think I'm gonna do um, Like a neutral one. I have this translucent set. It's a bunch of nude colors, but it's kind of translucent So it gives like a nice little You'll know what I mean whenever I vlog it because I'm going to be in my vlogger girl era and Yeah, because honestly, this is fun. I'm having so much fun just talking to you guys I feel like we're on FaceTime, but I'm really just talking to a camera <laughs> But I don't know. I just really like vlogging. I feel like it's also a really good opportunity for us to connect with each other because it's kind of hard over Instagram and TikTok whenever I'm just posting pictures or like a 10 second reel where I'm just lip syncing to some kind of song. Ah! And I feel like the real ones are on YouTube. I love that. So I am so happy that you're here and I'm so happy that you're hanging out with me today. All right, let's get to chopping my hair. Also, I get a lot of questions about my hair and the bleaching process and everything like that. So if you are in interested I actually did an entire I did like two YouTube videos of me bleaching my hair and how I got it from black box dyed hair to what it is now yeah, but I'm just cutting it today I decided that I'm not bleaching it again today because I really don't feel like it but I'll probably I'm gonna do that before I go on my trip now that I'm here I'm thinking do I really want to cut it cut it right here or should I just take off like the dead ends and I'm thinking I'm just going to take off the dead ends because I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to take off the dead ends and then I'm going to give myself more layers. Also, if anyone here is a hairdresser, I'm so sorry. Let's just give her a chop in. I'm just going to do like an inch. Here we go. Move on to the other side. If I can make it kind of even. I should honestly invest in better hair cutting scissors. I went to Sally's Beauty and got the cheapest ones. <laughs> so there we go. I got a little bit of length cut off and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole ponytail jazz. Let's do it. I started cutting my hair and I wasn't even recording. Oh my God. But I'm in the middle of cutting it right now but it is not even at all. Ah. <sighs> All right, all right. It looks like so much hair on the floor. Look, it looks like I chopped off so much. Oh, I definitely did a really bad job at doing this. Let's take the ponytail out and see how it looks. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. I'm glad that I only took a little bit off the length because that big, that big chop took away a lot of hair, I feel like. So let me kind of show you the layers going on. The longest pieces, the shortest layer goes about right here. Now it's time to tackle the curtain bangs. Oh, I also just finished Chainsaw Man. I know I'm late to watching it, but oh my God, it's so good. It has everything you could ever want in an anime. It has action, gore, love interest. It's silly and goofy. And it's also so unpredictable. And then I'm just gonna cut right here. Boom. And what that does is it gives the hair kind of like a little swoop right 
there. I have the curtain bangs sectioned out. I noticed that this side is definitely way shorter than this side. Whatever. You can see how orange my roots are compared to this part. Yeah, my hair is actually an absolute disaster, especially if you saw it in person. I forgot to wet my hair too. Oopsies. I would say they're about, about even. Another random thing, if you have a Trader Joe's by you, you have to get yourself eucalyptus to put over your shower. I also got this plant. I don't know what this is actually. I just saw it and was like, I'm gonna hang this over the shower too because it smells really good. This one is eucalyptus. It smells amazing. I'll show you a list of all the benefits. Also guys, this shower head is the best shower head I've ever had in my life. It's like $60 on Amazon or something like that. The link is in my storefront. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hair 360 on what it looks like. It's honestly not the best, but that's okay. This is what it looks like in the front. And then this is what it looks like in the back. So as you can see, it is pretty chopped off right here, but that's okay. I don't mind, I don't mind. These are how the curtain bangs are kind of looking, a little swoopy swoopy. If you've never experienced super dry, brittle, absolutely wrecked and damaged hair, you probably don't know what I mean whenever I say after maybe a few days of not washing my hair, my hair, the blonde bits start to feel kind of like straw. I know, it's actually pretty bad and I know, I know I get it. I should probably stop bleaching my hair. I can't give up this hairstyle yet. I like it and I like to just play around with my hair because it, I feel like it just adds more personality, you know? If I was walking around with my regular natural hair, you'd probably be like, oh, that girl's probably boring. Well, I don't know. But if I'm walking around with fun, funky hair, you're probably like, oh, that girl is cool. Or that girl is not normal, which is exactly what I want you to think. Yeah, I like it. I am finally filming my try and haul. I have all my lights set up. I'll show you the setup. I have this big mirror with LED lights around it, and then I also have this little ring light. This is also so nice because it's wireless. The try on haul is going to be a separate video from this one, so if you want to watch that, it's probably going to be up before I post this video, so go check it out if you want to. Success! I just got done filming my try on haul, and I think I'm going to make some dinner now because what did I even eat today? I don't even remember. What did I have for breakfast? I had... I had potatoes and eggs for breakfast. And then after I got done from the gym, I had watermelon and vegan chicken tenders. Crap, what else did I have? I don't know, but I do know that I need to get a lot of protein in and it is what? It's 949. I don't know why I've been struggling to get all my protein in and all my calories in. Also, I've been thinking about uh, getting more into like a bodybuilding regime program. If you didn't know, I've been more so powerlifting. I'm not a power lifter. I don't compete or anything like that. I don't have a coach. I don't do any of that. Just an average gym goer. I don't track anything. I don't even track my workouts. I just kind of go and do whatever I'm feeling. I do more of like a, a legs push pull split. I don't have a program or anything like that. I know that there's so many people who are like, like you're not going to make any progress unless you have a program or a coach or writing every single thing that you eat down or writing every single workout down. If you're just an average gym goer and like to go to the gym and you don't take it like that seriously, then that is totally fine. You don't have to be so crazy hard on serious about the gym if you don't want to be. Honestly, I'm just rambling on at this point, but that's what this video is kind of about. Some people don't have specific goals and that's okay. You can simply go to the gym and work out because you like to move your body. And there's so many other ways to move your body other than going to the gym and lifting weights. I'm totally rambling on now because I could go on a ramble about, yes, there's other ways to move your body, but if your goal is to get toned or look a certain way that, you know, you see a bunch of influencers looking like whatever, then maybe weightlifting is the right thing for you. Maybe cardio naps are, isn't the right fit for you. Anyways, that's like for a whole nother video. Let me know if you have any questions about that because I could totally go on and on and on about that. However, it is time for me to eat. I need to eat something. I think I'm gonna have some ramen. Yeah, I'm gonna have it with two eggs. Soft boiled eggs. Did you guys know 
that you can boil eggs in the air fryer. I use the air fryer for everything. Actually, everything. <laughs> I think I use the air fryer every single day, and if I don't, then that's weird for me. If you put your eggs in the air fryer while the air fryer is still cold, you don't want it preheated. Put your eggs in the air fryer while it's still cold. Put them in for, if you want soft boiled eggs, 10 minutes on 300 degrees. If you want medium boiled eggs, I guess, 11 minutes, and then hard boiled, 12 minutes. And then once it's done, you obviously still wanna put it in um, a bowl of cold or ice cold water so that the cooking stops in the eggs. So you wanna put it in an ice bath. And yeah, it's that easy. So I think I'm gonna do that now, and I think I'm gonna edit my try on haul video on my laptop and probably watch anime and that'll be the night. I think that's pretty much the end of the vlog though. I'll show you my ramen though. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I think I'm definitely going to post more videos like this because it's just kind of fun for me to make. And I am gonna try to vlog more of my trips. I gotta vlog so many different things like my Houston trip, my LA trip, the Moonrise Festival that I was at. And you'll probably see a lot of your favorite other creators there, especially on this Young LA trip. All the socials to all my other social medias will be down in the description below. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. This is my ramen. I overcooked the eggs. I did. I did. I forgot that I was cooking them and they just sat in the air fryer for a little bit. So take them out immediately after 10 minutes for a soft boiled egg.